Hello, I'm Mike Russell from MusicRadioCreative.com. In this mini-series, I'll be looking at my favourite Waves audio plugins of all time, starting with the awesome Sheps Omni Channel. Okay, Shep's Omni Channel is fantastic because it kind of has every process you'd ever need to produce a voiceover or make a podcast sound better. Let me show you what I mean by going into my audio editor here. Just to let you know, this plugin can be used with any audio editor. So whether you're editing podcasts on Audacity or you're working in Reaper, or of course you're working here in Adobe Audition, you can use this plugin and it can give you pretty much all the functionality you're ever going to need. Now I'm gonna disable Shep's Omni Channel for the moment, just play you my raw audio. Hello, this is Mike Russell and this is my very first podcast episode using the wonderful Shep's Omni Channel plugin from Waves Audio. Okay, and just to let you know, if you wanna get this plugin or any other plugin from Waves Audio with a 10% discount, you need to use my link at mrc.fm forward slash waves. Let's get into Shep's Omni Channel. Let's switch it on and show you what everything does. Just going to set this to the default settings. You'll see there's a ton of presets in here for every situation. You can use this not only on vocals, but also music production, jingle production, and more. Uh, and the best thing is you've got the, the pre, the gate, the de the EQ, the compression, and you can move these around. I don't know why you'd want to move the pre to be last. You obviously want that to be first. Uh, but it does match up very nicely with the fact that you should do your pre-processing, then your noise gate, then your de then EQ, then compression. Uh, I know a lot of people say compress first, then EQ, but Shep's Omni Channel says EQ first and then compress. So that's what we're going to be doing. I'll go through each strip in order and we'll start with the pre-processing. I'll enable that. The light comes on and you've got saturation. Better just to play it at full blast to show you what it does. Hello, this is Mike Russell and it adds distortion essentially. Bit of saturation uh, to your audio. For a voiceover, that's terrible. So switch it off. Uh, but for music production, that may well be what you want. So, uh, feel free to crank it up. Uh, these filters are really handy because you have a high pass filter here and a low pass. You'll know me if you've seen previous videos of mine. I'm a big fan of high pass filters. And what this can do is knock off some of the low end, some of the rumble in your recording, some of the bass that you really don't need, get rid of some of the plosives. And you just wind this up as you play and hear the voice thinning out and then kick it back until you can't hear it anymore. Let's try. Hello, this is Mike Russell, and this is my very first podcast episode using the wonderful Shep's Omni Channel plugin. About 100 hertz is going to be fine for me to get rid of any low end that doesn't need to be there. Next, it's on to gate, and this is a noise gate. And essentially, as I increase the threshold, it will block out background noise. Let me move this over here a little bit. Let's switch on spectral frequency and the preview window. You can see down here at the end of my speech, lots of noise in the background and in between my words. If I switch on preview and start to move up the gate uh, threshold as I play back, you'll hear how the gate kicks in and you'll see here a visual attenuation um, display here with the lights turning on. Hello, this is Mike Russell and this is my very first podcast episode using the wonderful Shep's Omni Channel plugin from Waves Audio. As you can see here, the gate is just blocking out any noise in between my words and certainly cutting it out at the end. Nice to get a really clean voiceover or podcast, especially if you've got like heavy stuff going on in the background. Thresholds at minus 20. Hello, this is Mike Russell, and this is my very first podcast episode. Everything's getting through nicely. I'm going to reduce the attack to be really, really quick. That will be about it for the gate. That's all I really need to clean up any background noise. Then I've got de-essing. So if I'm saying an S word here, like around here, and I see the frequency is hitting around 7,000 to 8,000 hertz. Uh, I can just simply go ahead and move this up to around 7,500. And what that will do is when I start increasing the threshold, so let's bring that down a little bit, uh, you'll see these lights come on and it will reduce the yellowness of the S words. Hello, this is Mike Russell and this is my very first podcast episode. You see, whenever I'm saying an S word, a word with S in, these lights come on and reduce the sibilance, the top end distortion when I say uh, S sounds like that. So very, very handy indeed. Then we got EQ over here. Well, this is self-explanatory, highs, mids, the tone of the voice and the low end can be tempting to go really nuts with this, but let's have a play and see what we can get in our sound. Hello, this is Mike Russell and this... And one thing I've noticed actually over here and here that I'm clipping on the output. So what I'm going to do is ride this fader down so I'm not clipping. Hello, this is Mike Russell and this is my very first podcast episode. Yeah, and I, I think that's a lot better. So let's just ride that down for the moment. Uh, so we've got high end. Well, we can push this up, make the voice crisp and clear. Hello, this is Mike Russell and this is my very first podcast episode 
I'm just going to push it up a little bit there. Uh, obviously, you could hear when I pushed it up to the extreme, the difference it makes. Same with the mid. Hello, this is Mike Russell, and this is my very first podcast episode. And you see, you can change the shape to be like a like a little peak in the EQ uh, curve or like a, a more of a broad curve across the mid-range. I'll leave it as is. Tone as well. Hello, this is Mike Russell, and this is my very first podcast episode. And the low end, it's always tempting to push this right up so you have a really bassy voice. Hello, this is Mike Russell, and this is my very first podcast podcast episode. But you can see already we've pre-processed, we've noise-gated the audio, we've DS'd it, and we've EQ'd it with very, very simple steps here using Shep's Omni Channel. I've also got a compressor here, various different types. Uh, I'll stick with the default here, and all I need to do to get this working is start moving the threshold down. These dials are pretty much in the right position. I might actually pull a tech down to be at the minimum, and let's have a play with this. Watch also, I want you to see the waveform change as I compress. Okay, so I'm going to start compressing to about minus 20, see what it looks like, and boom, it's all nice and flat now. Hello, this is Mike Russell, and this is my very first podcast episode. Okay, it's probably a bit too compressed, so I'm going to push that up a bit. Hello, this is Mike Russell. And if you want, you can also change the ratio, so it's three and a half. I'll make it uh, two and a half. Hello, this is Mike Russell, and this is my very first podcast episode. Still keeping a bit of dynamic range, especially if you're working on podcasts there. And that's pretty much it. Now I can probably afford to push that back up to zero dB again. We haven't got that uh, nasty clipping going on or maybe we have, but don't worry if it does seem to clip over 0 dB because you've got a limiter here that you can set. And then with this, I can set the threshold to be at minus 1, and that's going to make sure none of my audio hits above minus 1. You see there it's limited it. If I'm not happy with that, if I think it's a bit too hard, the limiting, I can pull this down by 1.5 dB and just make it extra easy. Hello, this is Mike Russell, and this is my very first podcast episode. Sounding amazing. Switch off Shep's Omni Channel. This is the original. Hello, this is Mike Russell and this is my very first pod put it on and we get this hello this is mike russell and now the differences are subtle of course you can go to the extreme by really adding lots of eq lots of compression uh, you can make a really great sounding radio imaging voice using shep's omni channel you can create music jingles just anything with this it's a pretty amazing plugin and it's really one of my top recommendations from waves just because of the fact there's all this functionality crammed into one plugin and it works across audio editors so if you have an audio editor that doesn't have all of these fancy things or they're not as good like audacity obviously being free the um the basic effects there are probably not as straightforward as the stuff you see there I'd highly consider it. And definitely go ahead and use my link because it will get you an extra 10% off whatever the price is over at mrc.fm forward slash waves. That's mrc.fm forward slash waves. And let me know how you get on with this in the comments down below.